Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Two more Acid Rain uh, toys here. I have the Maritime Flea from the Neo Atlantis Alliance, and I have the Field Flea DF3F, which we can see here. So these are both fleas, so I'm going to review them together and compare their colors. But just by looking, I really like the look of that Neo Atlantis color scheme, you know? That sort of blue and um, orange and sort of rust it looks really, really cool. But let's open these both up and have a look. And we can compare and see if there's any differences other than just the uh, the paint apps and the names, obviously. So let's get this one open first. Let me open both at the same time. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, that's interesting. There's a look at that. I like that plastic insert in the box. Inside we have two. It looks like I want to say pads, armor plates that can be put on there somewhere, probably to fill a, a gap or a hole or something. I'll just quickly get those out. In that sort of rusty orange brown color. Um, nothing underneath there. This feels like having a transformer, nothing underneath this, since it's going to turn from that box into a sort of sentry turret. So let's see how that works. And I really have no idea, but that does look really nice. This is Neo Atlantis there. In fact, I will look on the box to get an idea. Okay, so there's supposed to be a gun. I'm assuming the gun is inside. Let's have a look. Okay, so we have some spider legs, which should be folding out from here. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Some movement there from here somewhere. Let me try not to break anything on this video. Uh -huh. oh, I see. That's pretty cool. I do like that sort of transformation really adds another sort of level of character to the figures, but this one joint here is really stiff. Okay. They're very spider-like. So on the actual legs here, there's a joint. <coughs> excuse me. There's a joint with a ball at the top. So you get lots of, it's multi-directional. You have a normal hinge joint and a hinge joint by these blue sort of spiked feet as well. There is a joint, ball joint, where this connects to the actual base. Which is cool. The machine gun attaches to that. Is it inside? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, hello. Hello. There is a little door here or something. There we go. Door opens and the machine gun should... How am I going to get that out? With my big chunky fingers. Oh, here we go. Machine gun comes out and I can close the door and now you've got this <laughs> really, really cool... I do like this a lot. Sentry drone, uh, drone, not drone. But it's going to take a little practice to get these, uh, all these legs in the same level. There we go. That's better.
think one of the, the only issue I've got, some of these joints are really stiff and some are really loose. And so it's going to be a bit difficult sometimes to get exactly where you want it. But that is really nice looking. That is really nice. Now to give you an idea of scale, I miss anything else first. Have a look. Okay, that goes there. Does the back open? The back appears not to open. However, having said that, the same joint appears on the back. You see this little red circle. There's a blue circle there. So I'm beginning to think it does open. In fact, I'm convinced it does now. But where does it open from? And there's these little things here. Where those little armor plates go that I had a second ago? Ah, so there's more things for me to explore and look on this. But that is a well-designed toy. It looks great, really great. Really nice having that gun on the inside there. And I just want to figure out where or if this back section opens and where do these armor plate parts go. Now I'm looking on here and I can't see where they're going to slot in at the moment. Uh, so it could possibly be inside, can't be inside surely. Okay, let me put the gun back in. And, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's have a nice proper look at this. So that does appear to be another hinge joint, but the bottom part doesn't appear to be separate, so that won't come out. I break my fingernails on camera. Oh no! Hmm. So let's have a look at the picture. Anyway, these parts are obviously going. The answer is not at the moment. Hmm. I do want to figure that out. In fact, let me look on the box of the other one. It too comes with those parts, so let me leave this one like this for now. Let's open the other one, have a comparison of colour. Should be the same. Yep, those two parts. Oh, these are like the numbers. So if I can see the numbers go. I can't see where the numbers go. If I can see where the numbers go, then I could put that on. So Right, so the gun comes from that side. This side is definitely closed. Where are they going to come in from? That is a question. Let's get this out. It's really nice having sort of a sentry drone. Now these sort of drones you'd, you'd sort of really see before. Have you seen any before 118? I'm not even sure if the ones from Alien have been made in 118 scale. Alien, sorry, I should say. So his parts, where do those numbers go? So if I haven't figured this out by the end of the video, someone can put in the messages, hey, the numbers go here, you missed it. And I'll, at least I will know. Uh, so this part will open and the same thing this gun which is really stiff in fact can I use a little screwdriver to get this out so look yes I can and this gun will come down Now, I just want to work out where these numbers go. I'm sure it's under this back part of these panels here, but I don't know yet. This one has got stiffer joints, so it's actually a bit nicer to, uh, to do. Very, very nice. Uh, give you an idea of scale. Here is the uh, 
Field Cavalry that I reviewed earlier. Very, very nice. You can see, almost as tall as him up there. If I use, um, here we see just the videos. So the scale is very good. If I use a Marvel Legends series Deadpool, again, scale is the same with him. And he'll be in sister videos. So the scale is really good on these. In fact, you could almost paint Deadpool to match in the colors. Okay, I'm going to pause this video and see if I can work out where these little parts go. And if, and if I can, I'll come back. If I can't, I'll come back and close it anyway. So I'll be back in, in a moment for you, okay? Back soon. Well, I've looked and I've looked and I can't figure out where these parts go. So what I'll do is after this video, I will look online and see where then I'll go Ooh, because it'd be very simple I'm sure but the actual slot is very you know it's like a double a T T shape both sides so it's quite a specific slot I can't just slot anywhere so I will look after this video and work out where they go okay so these are both really nice um I I thought I really like this one a lot more than this one however I still like it more but only a little bit more. I don't think there's really much in it in terms of look. They look fantastic. Really, really nice with the way that comes up and then the gun. Just not easy to get out. Oh, screw driving it. And the way the gun the gun comes out. And then you've got 360 swivel all the way around here. Um, there's no up and down as such. Well, there's a tiny bit, not a lot. You could do the gun like that, I guess, you know, close this and the gun came up like this a little bit. Uh, but it's just a really well thought out, really nicely made toy. Um, both great. I do prefer the Neo Lantis because I think the colour scheme looks slightly better, but both are fantastic. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more awesome action toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.